In this video, I will explain exactly how the gotcha system works in Genshin Impact and the best starting strategy when it comes to getting the characters that you want. Howdy, my name is Tara and I hope you're having a terrific day and if you are not, this video is about to make your day just a little bit better. If you're anything like me, I was scratching my head at first trying to understand exactly how the gotcha system works in Genshin Impact. With the plethora of launch rewards being given out early on in the leveling process, I thought it paramount to develop my strategy now and how I'll be using those resources. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what character you want the most in Genshin Impact. You can also check me out live on my Twitch, a link found in the description where I'll be playing Genshin Impact at launch. Before we get into explaining exactly how how the gotcha system works, first let us talk about the launch appreciation rewards. At the launch of Genshin Impact, everyone will be receiving 1,600 Primo Gems and 20 Acquaint Fates at varying intervals during the adventure rank leveling process up to level 10. It should take no longer than two hours to receive all of these launch rewards, and having the knowledge of how the gotcha system works will enable you to spend these resources wisely. The first thing to establish is that there are two types of gacha currencies known as acquaint fates and intertwined fates, which can be used for wishing for characters and weapons. Acquaint fates are the gacha currency used on the beginner and standard banner, and intertwined fates are the gacha currency used on the limited promotional character banners and weapon banners. There are multiple ways to acquire these fates in game, however for free to play players these summoning resources are somewhat sparse. Um, but for those willing to pay even a little bit, it can make a huge impact on your summoning resources. The paid currency in Genshin Impact is known as Genesis Crystals, which can be transformed into Primo Gems to buy a quaint and intertwined fates. You can buy either of these fates for 160 Primo Gems each. I will say that there are multiple other sources for these fates, which you'll get through your adventures, but I will not be going into detail for farming those as I want to keep this video focused on how the gacha system actually works. So now let's talk about the most important thing when it comes to any gacha system, the pooling rates. Whenever wishing for characters or weapons, you can receive three star weapons, four star weapons, four star characters, five star weapons, or five star characters. In general, five stars are more sought after, but four stars are very good and should not be underestimated. All of these will have a different probability of pooling. Three star weapons can be acquired at a rate of 94.3%, Four star weapons or characters can be acquired at a rate of 5.1% and five star weapons or characters can be acquired at a rate of 0.6%. These rates can be seen as abysmally low, but there is a safeguard in place known as the pity system to help combat such low pooling chances. The pity system will reward a guaranteed item of a certain rarity once a certain amount of pools are done. These differ slightly depending on the banner type that you pull on. When it comes to the four star pity, you are guaranteed a four star or above every 10 wish if you have not pulled one. If there is a featured 4 star character on the banner, you have a 50% chance on the first 4 star item being a featured character. If a 4 star featured character is not pulled though, there is a 100% chance on the second 4 star item being a featured character. And this resets whenever you successfully pull a featured 4 star character. Now when it comes to the 5 star pity, there is a guaranteed 5 star every 90th wish if you have not pulled one. If there is a promotional 5 star on a banner, then there is a 50% chance on the first 5 star item being the promotional character. If a 5 star promotional character is not pulled, there is a 100% chance on the second 5 star item being the promotional character. This resets on successfully pulling the promotional 5 star character. Now I do believe if you want to fully understand the pity system, you must also understand how the different banner types work. As stated earlier, there are multiple banner types which use either a quaint or intertwined fates. Not all banners will have featured four star or promotional five star characters. The beginner banner is the one that pretty much everyone is going to be pulling on. It is a banner for new players which can be wished on for a 20% reduced amount of a quaint fates. A maximum of 20 wishes can be performed on this banner. However, unlike other banners, you can only receive characters from this specific banner. This banner, in my opinion, is a must pull on starting out in the game, as the other Acquaint Fate standard banner has a higher chance to receive weapons on than characters. The standard banner is a non-limited time banner possessing all of the starting 5 star and 4 star characters and weapons in it. Like the beginner banner, this one also uses a quaint fate for wishes. The most important thing to note here though is there is a higher chance of pulling weapons from the standard banner as there are more five star and four star weapons than characters in the summoning pool. For example, there are five five star characters and 10 five star weapons in the standard banner, meaning two thirds of the five stars pulled will be weapons. Paired with the abysmal 0.6% pulling rate, 
Five star characters can almost be seen as barren in this banner. However, fret not for if you are looking for five star characters, there is the limited promotional banner. Limited promotional banners work very differently than the beginner banner or the standard wish banner. They will use intertwined fates rather than acquaint fates as their wishing resource. While the pulling rates of four star or five star items do not change, there is a drastically higher chance of pulling the promotional or feature characters that you are after. This is due to the featured four star pity and promotional five star pity system that we talked about earlier. Lastly, there is the limited weapons banner. This banner is similar to the limited promotional banner, except no characters are present on the banner and the four star and five star pulling rates are slightly higher. This banner will also use intertwined fates rather than acquaint fates as your wishing resource. I'm not going to speak heavily into the weapons gotcha, but this banner should not be overlooked as weapons can make a huge impact to your power. Now that you know how the gotcha system works, let's talk about some starting strategies that you can implement for the people that are free to play or for people that are willing to spend just a little bit. Now for the free to play strategy, I am not recommending anyone to reroll in this game as the reroll process is quite tedious and it could also lead you to getting banned. You will want to use all of your starting acquaint fate on the 20 time wishes for the beginner banner, which will reward a guaranteed Noel. Next, you will want to use the rest of your acquired acquaint fate on the standard banner immediately or you could also save it for safety. If you're choosing to save it, you're doing this because you think in the future there could be a new banner that uses Acquaint Fates or that the standard banner could sometime in the future be updated. Next, you'll want to wait specifically for limited promotional banners with four star featured characters or dupes that you want. And you wanna buy intertwined fates with Prima Gems to pull for those four star characters. It is highly unlikely for you ever to max out a five star characters constellation as a free to play player. So my advice is to just not pull for five stars at all. However, four star characters are extremely unique and can be just as good. Now, as for managing your resources as a free to play player, Prima Gems are used for both original reason, which is the energy system required to continue progressing in the game, and to buy additional fates to use in the gacha. Figuring out a balance between restoring original resin or buying wishes will just depend on you. I do recommend though that you never go past three resin restorations as the cost becomes quite expensive taking almost a full summon or more beyond three resin restores. Now for those dolphins out there, those people willing to spend a little bit, I have a little bit of a different strategy for you. Like the free to play strategy, you will want to use all of your starting acquaint fate on the 20 time wishes for the beginner banner, which will reward you a guaranteed Noel. Use the rest of your acquired acquaint fates on the standard banner immediately. Now you'll want to wait for five star promotional characters or four star featured characters banners that you want. Pity out the five star on the limited banner and aim to max the constellation of the four star featured characters that you want. Now when it comes to your original resin, it really just depends on your budget. So just kind of restore it as you please. I do want to state that while the official prices are not out on Genesis Crystals, this strategy should keep your budget somewhat in check. The game does appear to be very stingy with your free to play resources. However, paid resources are speculated to be quite a bit more bountiful. For the last strategy, we have the well strategy to talk about. And in this strategy, you just do whatever the hell you want because you're a well dude. You don't need to watch this video for that. Just make money, spend money every day, you know? I don't know. Good luck. I hope you now know exactly how the gotcha system works in Genshin Impact. This system took me quite a long time to fully wrap my head around, but I hope that I could have at least brought you a little bit of clarity today. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. And you can also always head over to my Discord or check me out sometime on Twitch. Links found in the description. Bye bye now.